All right, what's up everybody? We're uh, making our way up to Flagpole Knob for the night. We're gonna try to camp up there. I've got Quinn and Alyssa from a couple of overlands behind me, and uh, we're gonna take the take the Union Springs Road up and either stay at, I don't know, we're either gonna stay at Meadow Knob or Flagpole. We'll have to see, see how many people are up here, but uh, we're just about to get off of the pavement and stop to air down and hit it up the trail. I've run up Union Springs probably 20 times over the past 15 years or so, but I've never done it in a full-size truck with a camper on its back. The full-size width and 8-foot height would definitely slow me down as the trail is getting more and more grown in. I really wanted to push the truck a bit more on a rocky trail closer to home and see how it handles before we venture further. If it's just not up to it, I'd rather know now than find out somewhere far, far from home. I also wanted to get Quinn out on a harder trail than what he's used to so he could gain some confidence in himself and his truck. I think Quinn was trying really hard at this point to not take the bypass, but he didn't, and he did great. Well, we made it past the stair steps. It was interesting. Um, had to talk Quinn out of going on the bypass, but he made it down with flying colors. Everything's cool. So now we're on to uh, one of the next next obstacle. It's been a couple years since I've been up here. I think the next thing we do is actually the uh, little rocky hill climb. So that should be all right.
now I'm just trying to make my way through. This place has gotten way tighter than it was last time I was here. And of course, last time I was here, I was in a much smaller truck. So just trying to make my way through without tearing things up too much. We'll make it. Looks like we'll probably end up camping at Flagpole tonight. Uh, we're almost to Meadow Knob now, and it's going to be way too early to be setting up camp. It's quarter after three right now, so. Well, we made it to Flagpole, and shocker, there's people there. I'm gonna head over towards Reddish Knob and see if we can't find some place to camp along the way. Yeah, there's bees everywhere. Bet you it's right here. <laughs> yeah, Quinn's trying to find a sticker from last time we were up here. I'm assuming that's the smoke from the wildfires. It's really, uh, really got the place socked in. So we're gonna head back down, down into uh, Fire Road 95 somewhere. See if we can't find camp down there. Should be a pretty good spot. One thing about overlanding is you have to learn to be flexible. You may not find camp when or where you planned. That's easy when you're somewhere that you know. But I do struggle with this when we get further from home. We found a place to camp, got set up, and I grilled up some hot dogs on the Scotty Grill. Quinn fired up the mini solo stove and we hung out for a while before calling it a night. That's it for this time. We'll see you on the next adventure. Hey, at least it turned out to be a pretty nice night. Yeah. I'm sorry I drug you through a 
crazy trail today. No. I mean, so, well, you've, yeah, okay, you've been down there several, several times. 